Well, in this video, I'd like to show you uh, an experiment that I'm uh, that I've been doing. Um, I've got a local young lad that um, uh, does 3D printing, and I got him to print up some tail wads for um, the Lee drive key slug. Uh, I've tested, uh, did preliminary testing already, and uh, they show a great deal of promise. Uh, the first ones that I uh, had him make, he made with, um, uh, they weren't solid, they, they had what they call reinforcing in them or whatever. I'm not really uh, educated on 3D printing, but anyway, the first ones were uh, 40 grain weight and, um, and uh, 60 grain. He'd made two different styles. The 60 worked fine and the 40 failed. Uh, these ones are 74 and they're totally solid, so I expect that they're going to work quite well. He did a good job on the on the fit. Um, they fit really tight. If I to to install them, I put them in the vise and squeeze them right together. And when they come right together, you cannot take them apart by hand uh, without either destroying the wad or the slug. Uh, that being said, I always I'm always a guy for overkill, so I added a bit of glue at the same time. Uh, the idea, of course, being that uh, the tail wad stays with the slug uh, to help stabilize it in flight. And my uh, my first tests were were really good. So uh, in this case here, he uh, they're both solid. Uh, he made them in two different colors, and he wants me to test them this way. Apparently, the the pattern of building them is different on the gray one than it is on the black one and so he wants to see uh, if there's any difference in how they hold up and uh, in the future of course I can get the, him to make the ones that are uh, he says the gray ones are a little bit less costly to make so uh, it takes less time to make them uh, so as long as they work good uh, I'm gonna uh, try them that way um, <coughs> I'm loading them with uh, these wads. I can't exactly remember the number of them. They're um, wads from uh, Ballistics Products, and they, um, of course, they'll take all the the heat uh, from the from the charge, and. Uh, I'm roll crimping them. This is kind of a homemade roll crimper that I cobbled together, which works quite nicely. More than that one. There we go. And uh, this is the way I loaded the test ones, and they shot really, really well. Uh, I've had the the uh, the mold for the Lee uh, drive key for quite some time and I had tried it when I first got it and was not impressed at all with the uh, with the way that it worked so uh, my initial test says that they're going to work a lot better with these tail wads on them and uh, I uh, kind of copied the design a little bit of a slug that's called the AQ slug that you can uh, purchase from um, from uh, ballistic products uh, the big problem with buying those things is where I live, the cost of the shipping is, is horrible to get them here. And so uh, I'm trying to get stuff done locally uh, in order to uh, make my shooting uh, a little bit more affordable. And it's a lot of fun to experiment with. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.